Hi, it's Ed Lyons at Flinton Partners Optometrists and Ed Lyons Sports Vision in Wolverhampton. And this is just a short video just to showcase our right eye eye tracker. So as we know, vision and shooting and elite sport in general are intrinsically linked. So the way in which you make visual contact with your target is going to dictate how you engage it. So when we do a sports vision analysis, not only are we looking at how sharply that athlete can see, so the clarity of their sight, but how they actually move their eyes is really important. We've got six sets of muscles that move the eyes around. So you've got muscles for lateral movement and vertical movement and torsional movement and muscles to help your eyes to focus. So the synergy of this visual system is, is vital. So from a shooting perspective, we need to be able to see that target clearly, but we also need to, also need to be able to follow it really, really well. So this little system here has got an eye tracker embedded in the screen, and we give the athlete a series of visual tasks to do. Some of which are smooth pursuit movements, so really nice steady movements where they're following a target. Others are called saccadic movements, which are quick, rapid ballistic movements and uh, quick, rapid changes of fixation. Um, in addition to being able to move your eyes quickly and efficiently, from a shooting perspective, you also need to be able to keep your eyes still. So being able to have really good visual control, really get into that quiet eye technique is really important, particularly for trap shooting disciplines. So if I just show you a couple of clients' results here, we can see this one, which is the eye stability test, much like a pattern plate when you're uh, patterning a shotgun. We can see with this individual that their left eye is fairly centred, but a little bit random, and the right eye is actually up, and out. So the, where the eyes are looking, which should be in the middle of that ring there, they're actually uh, elevated and temporarily displaced. And you can see here that the two eyes aren't working concurrently. What's really fascinating with this one is how this person tracks a target. And we can play the little video here, and we can see that when they're looking from the left to the right and back, so when shooting sporting, for example, a nice long crosser, we can see that whereas these should almost be ruler straight, there's some real erratic uh, performance on here because the eye muscles just aren't working too well. When we do some of the saccadic quick rapid changes of fixation, we find it difficult to initially localise the target and we find it really hard to make a smooth controlled movement to it. We can see that on the vertical meridians, things are a great deal better. So for things like shooting teals and things like that, when our eyes are moving from a, a downward position to an upward position and, and, and back again, we're not able to keep that under control. Now, if we just compare that if I can find someone interesting, if we can compare that against another shooter, uh, somebody at a higher level. So if we just use uh, Georgina, Georgina Roberts, for example, if we go into her data, um, where you had that sort of erratic visual fixation, we can see here on visual stability, absolutely nailed. So if you have a little look at where that right eye is, it's almost perfectly in the middle. And there's very few eccentric fixation points here. And the left eye is also very, very similar. And if we have a little look at the, uh, the horizontal lateral tracking, so much smoother than with the other candidate. And again, that fast lateral left to right movement down here on the video, again, really nice and smooth. And again, almost ruler straight visual behaviour on here. So we use this for gathering data as to how the athlete performs. And we can actually then attribute some visual training to this. So with the right eye assessment, there's a month's worth of complementary training just to help that person get a bit more control. I tend to use this in conjunction with my vision training kits as well. So with those, you can get real world equipment uh, to help the, uh, the user gain more control as to where their eyes move in space. It helps to improve focusing from distance to close and back again. It helps to improve how their eyes work in uh, you know, suboptimal positions, so unusual head positions, that kind of thing. Um, helps to gain more fusional reserves, a, a, an improvement in the power of these medial rectus muscles to get those eyes to work better together. And we use that in conjunction with the, uh, the training app from Synaptic as well. The Synaptic app is really, really good. I'm going to do a separate video on that, going through all the different visual activities that can be trained using the, the Synaptic um, platform, but for improving things like hand-eye coordination, critical decision-making, uh, tracking, 
go no go um, perception span multiple object tracking there's 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 a load of different things split attention I think there's maybe fourteen or even fifteen different activities on the app now really really good um, those are available on my website which is www.ed-lions.com um, and that can help you see better and shoot better.